Paul, you've been involved in plenty of big games. Just saying to James Roby there that uh, your experience has probably been crucial because you've had so many young players this season. They've done ever so well for you. Yeah, it's been you know, it's been great to have those young players involved. Uh, you know, it just came about by a little bit of disruption and injuries to other players, but the young lads that have come in have been given an opportunity and, and done really well. Uh, you know, I think our coach Royce deserves a lot of credit you know, in the way he's handled the young players' development and. Uh, you know, I think they're starting to show what they're capable of. Often people talk about potential with young players, but not until you stick them in the first team do you really find out whether that potential can turn into you know, a full-blown senior player. And these guys have definitely stepped up to the mark. Yeah, well, they have. Uh, you know, our half-back pairing of uh, Johnny Lomax and Lee Gaskell first played together in round six of this year. And, uh, you know, they've both done, done, done really well th throughout the course of the season. You know, Johnny Lomax even so much so that he's been started recognised with an international call-up. So, you know, that shows how well how well they've done and how well the players have been looked after and developed. And uh, you know, we have every confidence that these guys can go out and perform on Saturday. It must be nice as well when one or two guys are, are retiring or moving on that you are still bringing through players and keeping the, the legacy, if you will, of St Helen so strong. Yeah, well, I mean, I think. We as a club, we've, we've got it right in, in the way that we, we bring through young players and we invest a lot into the youth, the youth system. And uh, you know, the young players that come in, yes, yeah, sure, every now and again you're going to make mistakes. That, that's what happens when you're a young player coming into an environment. But uh, you know, Royce has stuck by them. He's allowed them to make mistakes. They, can, they continue to learn from any mistakes that they've made. And, and now he's starting to read the benefits of it. I've spoken quite a bit there about Royce. He sounds like a guy that you, you really place your trust in and, and he deserves a lot of credit for where you are right now. Yeah, I mean, because I think it's been a really difficult year in terms of you know the adversity that we've faced, injuries to key players. And uh, if you look at the start of the season, our first choice halfback pairing would have been Kyle Eastman and Leon Price. And uh, they've not played together all year. So. Uh, you know, there's been different scenarios throughout the year and different times we've been tested. But you know, Royce has kept his feet on the ground. He's just kept us working hard, and, and uh, you know, the players have responded, and, and we find ourselves in the grand final. Obviously, people were probably writing you guys off Leeds and Saitlands, thinking it's going to be Warrington and Wigan there in the final. Not the case, and I suppose that just goes to show, doesn't it? That the, the playoff system is is kind of there for everyone to see what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. It, it goes to show that you know. You can have bad patches throughout the season and still have designs on making it to Old Trafford. I think both Leeds and ourselves have suffered similarly this year with you know, a lack of continuity and you know, missing players at crucial stages of the season. Uh, but both are, are, have, have finished the season strongly and, and put in some good performances and uh, I think we both thoroughly deserve our place in the grand final. But you do find that with top sides, you're very good at peaking, at hitting the, the form at just the right time. I remember Bradford used to be brilliant at that, you know, the maybe early part of the season sort of meander along and then all of a sudden towards the end they get it all together and then the playoffs, they, they kind of go on and win it. Yeah, I mean, it's important, isn't it? I mean, hey, one thing now with the playoff system is yes, surely you want to play well throughout the course of the season, you want to build momentum, but it's imperative that you finish strongly. And I think both Leeds and ourselves have done that this year. And uh, I think we're similar in a lot of respects. And we've we've had so many battles with Leeds over the years in Challenge Cup games, in, in Grand Finals, in, in playoff games. Uh, and I think that's come about because we share that same determination, desire to do well. Having played Wigan, who are your arch rivals, I'm sure that game generally takes a lot out of you guys physically, but is there still plenty left to give come uh, Old Trafford in the final? Yeah, also we, we feel great. Uh, you know, I'm sure you invest a lot into your performance, but you know, we're well looked after at the club and, uh, and, and a lot of the guys are, are feeling fantastic. Uh, you know, our training has been been different class in the last few weeks. So, you know, we took it to a new level and working hard for each other in training and hopefully that will pay off on the field. I'm wondering if I can flip that question around in the sense that you had such intense games against Wigan in the playoffs that your standard is so high, you, you're kind of playing at a level that maybe wasn't there in all the playoff games. We've, we've spoken about one or two teams not quite looking in the part, you know, maybe their seasons had been drawn out and they're still tired, but you still, you know, had a, a bit to give, shall we say? Yeah, well, certainly our last two victories over Wigan, the intensity of which we played those two games at is the best we We've played uh, intensity-wise throughout the course of the season. Uh, we know this coming weekend against Leeds, you know, we can't drop that. You know, we have to, if, any, if, if anything, raise the intensity again. Uh, you know, Leeds are a quality side, and we know it's going to be tough to beat them. But you know, we are a confident group. We know that we're playing well, and uh, you know, we're very much looking forward to the challenge. But where does that intensity come from? Is it because you've got a great partisan fans? You know, they're both really up for a game like Wigan. Is that still going to be there, or does it have to come from within? I think it comes from within. It comes from a desire to do well. Uh, you know. Do you, do you really want to be a part of something special? Uh, 
I know when I look into the players' eyes, and you know, certainly in the weekend after the game when we sat around that dressing room and looked after it, it wasn't a case of punching the air with your light. It was uh, a real focus that we knew that we had to turn up again next week and, and, and do a similar job. Is there also a feeling that if you were to win this, whether it's Leeds or, or whether it's St Helens, that this will probably mean a bit more because everyone was writing you off. Maybe it's a transitional year for both clubs, but you're still there, still competing. There's no, there's no doubt, and it would mean a great deal to us. Uh, you know, I think when you say when when people do write you off, uh, it kind of does make you more determined. And uh, although yeah, I can understand that, you know, with the way that Warrington and Wigan were playing earlier on in the year, people wouldn't expect us to make it to Old Trafford. It still does kind of rankle you when you when you are it off, uh, especially a side like us who you know continue to to you know make and play in the big occasions quite often. So you know we're a pretty determined group, and, and if we were to pull off the uh, the win at the weekend, it would certainly rank up with us and one of the greatest moments in my career. And it could be the start of something big because we mentioned that these young guys are emerging, but they're going to get better. And if they can get a bit of silverware in that first year, then you know the sky's kind of the limit for them. Yeah, well, I mean, I can only cast my mind back to when I won my first grand final. I was 19 years of age, and uh, you know you, you get the taste for winning, and, and it becomes. Uh, Addictive, you you want more and more. Uh, so you know, in terms of getting a win at the weekend, it'd be, it'd be fantastic for our young players, and and also for the club for the next five, ten, you know, five, ten years that to have, have young players there who experience winning things. <laughs>